Sam Hancock, ladies and gentlemen. Sam Hancock, I, I, I finally am giving him a little bit more attention than he actually, well, maybe he won't want it this time around because I found out his error in his process of trying to convey to you the shape of my earth. And that is obviously, he, he's working in vain. His labor is in vain. And what he does, he takes my information, like I told him about the octahedron and so on and so forth, He'll take little clips and he'll upload it into his video channel. And what he's attempting to do, and he, he has to, he has to blame me somehow. He has to say that I'm connected with this boogeyman elite, elite organization that's feeding me information. It's not coming from directly from source within my head, right? Yes, it is actually. So he, but he needs to justify his plagiarism. That's exactly what he's doing because he wants to be lifted up. He wants the vanity within of, within him. He wants to show you. He wants to impress you. But he's using my material. And this this is really helpful. I just checked this out. Five common excuses for plagiarism. And it goes into, I'll let you read it all. The misunderstanding after getting caught, the individual, individual reprise. I didn't think that I was doing anything wrong. No, that's not quite him. The lapse of judgment is an excuse often employed by professionals. Am I getting all this? Yeah, well, not quite. Let me move it over a little bit more. Um, it feels like journalism and research plagiarism is a major breach of ethics of company policy, so the individual here should be well educated on what constitutes plagiarism. They'll say something along the lines of, I know I made a mistake, but it's not going to happen again. <laughs> and that's not quite it. Here we go. Number three, Sam. Sammy, this is your your number here for, for this video. <laughs> the big escape. The internet might be to blame for the common excuse. Although most plagiarists won't say this out one out loud. People often think that because of the vast amount of resources and publications on the web, copying a little here and a little there will most likely go undetected. This may have been the case several years ago, however today presents many options to identify content misuse and duplication, from Google to myriad online plagiarism checkers and plagiarism detectors like and whatever and whatever. Be wary of thinking this excuse will pass muster. Okay, so I've got the force of nature, excuses, excuses of equivalent to the dogs ate my homework, blah, 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 or the honest mistake. <laughs> no, it's not an honest mistake. And so what Sam will, he will actually even point out to you that uh, he doesn't produce videos. He takes clips from here, clips from there, and for the most part he does. But he will do a hangout, and he will try to be the gatekeeper to me, the true gatekeeper. I am the gate. You must enter in through the gate. And so this man, Psalm 127, is working out of the vanity of his own heart, trying to build my house without me. <laughs> Total fulfillment of that. It's liar. It's, it's like, so it's, he's trying to prevent the public from knowing about me personally, that I'm the living God, and trying to steal information that I have given him by justifying it by saying that I'm working for this type of elite that's feeding me this content. So there. So what he's doing, he's essentially crucifying me so he can be lifted up. You know that too, Sam. Yeah, you know that. So I, I need you to repent as soon as possible because I, I will, will be able to utilize you once you're conversing with me with the right heart, the right spirit. Isaiah 55, it is written, that unto this man will I look. He that has a broken and contrite heart and trembles at my words. Yeah, you've just been found out, Sam. Plus loads of other tro trolls um, waging a flat earth campaign. You've then got the concave earth party, which you don't hear much about it's very quiet a hundred years ago the one guy that was gatekeeping the model 
by teaching it but discrediting it but the the elite just need to be able to control everything so they don't want someone else being the, the lead guy of Concaverse so they have like Cyrus T there claiming that he was the messiah and the elite had arranged a little um, following for him so that it seemed like he had a, a genuine cult following um, we're, we're being totally played and deceived but nowadays the one guy that you will find on YouTube with hundreds of hours of material about concave earth and his personal claims that almost mirror Cyrus Teeds but they're a little bit more extraordinary and a little bit more fitting with what people and Christians are expecting of the Antichrist who is to appear on the scene claiming to be God and expecting people to be taking a mark or if not they'll be killed for not submitting and taking a mark that's a lot to digest so I'm just going to run through that again Luciferians running the world we've got Luciferians teaching the globe model all over the world there's Luciferians in universities schools teaching the globe model the heliocentric model we've then got, we've then got Luciferians teaching flat earth we've got a team of them promoting flat earth they, won't, they, they will not publicly acknowledge or expose the concave proofs like the plumb bob divergence and the fact that the eight inch per square mile on the water curvature is concave and not convex. These flat these Luciferian flat earthers at TikTok have no model and are gatekeeping the concave earth truth. Now with the concave psyop, yeah. I don't know how serious it is and whether the lead proponent known as Lord Stephen Christ is the of whom you've gotten I've watched about half of this video you've gotten all the good concave earth talking points from <laughs> right that's called a I don't know is that ethical to use my information that I gave you and just claim that I'm part of the elite so you can justify plagiarism or trying to get some credit for it keep going the antichrist or uh, someone that the elite have got in place that um is made to look like the Antichrist or if the guy off, off his own back wants to make the world think that he's the Antichrist but when you when you twin this with Speak faster. a whole lot of other things that we'll go into and expose I think you'll come to the conclusion that Lord Stephen Christ has got connections and he's been, has been helped and being fed information given scripts to read CGI models to present that, that is so unfair. That is really unfair. I'm not being fed shit. This is all com It's all coming from here. I was a 3D animator teacher for college students. I know my shit. Give me credit. You're taking my information and you're justifying it by saying I work for the government. That's bad stuff, Sam. Why are you doing that? I know why you're doing that. But there's a concave earth following that consists of Lord Stephen Christ, and then you've got you've got Travis Brab, who's nobody can nobody can compare to the faith that Travis has and the actual doing of what he says he's going to do. Flat Earth. I've just sat and made a five-minute list from memory of people that I have tried to approach with the concave Earth proofs. Tried to explain to them I'm an ex-flat Earther. I can see what's going on. All the proofs are there for concave. Here they are. Here, here's, a, here's a short well I'm, I'll just read out a short list of them in a second but just before I begin Joshua is there anyone Josh. is there anyone that you hey, can call out and someone who you see as a fake flat earther you? or a controlled agent someone that's a shield troll that's a flat earther running a channel I I, 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 suspect, I suspect a few for sure um, I, I'm going to wait until I'm more sure before I name anybody in particular but it seems quite obvious because I'm reaching out to a lot of people right. and if, if let's if, fast forward this oh. I, I did bring up Sam before in a previous video when I talked about plagiarism and I brought up uh, that one particular number three what was it called the great uh, whatever they use the internet for information they justify plagiarizing my information so they can you know get away with doing that and so they have to villainize me the source they can't applaud me they cannot thank me they cannot, cannot show any gratitude 
And that's exactly what's happening. All the information I presented to you was from my original source mind. You don't like to hear that, but that's the truth, Sam, Josh. That's the truth. If you don't believe, why don't, why don't, we, why don't we get together? Why don't we meet up? And if you guys want to come out, spend some time together, please do. I don't mean to harm you at all. I'm not working. I don't have any connections with the government, but I know that they watch me. I mean, you got to be a fucking idiot to think that they don't watch me. This is so monumental. It's going to change everything. And I am the Christ. It's evident. I mean, the, your unbelief is evident by the fact that you want to villainize me and tr treat me like this nefarious individual. You got off the information you, you talk about. The pro concave of talking points. They're all cogent information that you received from watching my videos. What, what's wrong with you? Don't, don't mask this and say, oh, oh, it's all for love, right, Josh? No, you're not loving me. You're not showing me respect, ethical honor. Both of you. Both of you. Shame on you.